Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Investigators still do not know what caused it or exactly where it started. But they do know three people lost their lives in a fire this morning. Seth Kaplan joins us with our top story. Seth. Valerie and Alicia, it happened in York City. Firefighters from other municipalities, though, rushed there to help. Always an awful sign when you see this at a scene like this, then confirmation of what everyone feared. There were uh, victims uh, on the third floor, uh, and unfortunately they had uh, succumbed to the fire. We have three victims. Two females and one male, according to New York County Coroner, waiting to make sure their families knew before saying more. At one point, concerned too for the safety of a firefighter. He just stepped in a, in a hole in the floor, got himself caught. He was able to self-extricate himself. Um, he went right back to work. It started in one unit. That's where the three victims were on the third floor, spread to another unit. It's a duplex. It's both units are going to be uninhabitable. It probably took about an hour to get the fire under control. Too common a scene, Chief William Sleeger says, for a city of just 45,000 people. This is the uh, third fire we've had now uh, with fatalities and uh, with multiple fatalities. Too soon to say exactly where it started and how. The marshals are in, the detectives, and we're also in looking to see what you know the cause is. But Sleeger is saying this. The thing that I can't emphasize enough is how working smoke detectors. If you do not have them, contact the Red Cross. They have a program and then they will come out and assist folks with putting smoke detectors up. He's not saying for sure this home didn't have them. I'm just saying to make sure they work. No other injuries we're aware of and Valerie will tell you the names and ages of the victims just as soon as your county coroner Pam Gay notifies the family and gives that information to us.